I'm in Wallace, North Carolina today looking for the extremely rare coke bottles that they have here. I saw this sticking out of the ground on a construction site and I thought I finally found one of those. But when I turned it over, just the generic Coca-Cola on the bottom. The coke bottles from Wallace are so rare I've never seen one before and everybody I've talked to the collects bottles in eastern North Carolina has never seen one either. I just got permission to dig behind all these storefronts and there's an exposed trash pit where that coke bottle was laying on top of the ground and there's a whole bunch of broken sodas. So I'm going to rake through it and hopefully hook a few whole ones. Alright, you can see a lot of glass sticking out here. Pretty much all sodas. And mostly coke bottles, so hopefully I'll get something out of here. on that one. Well, it's got a W. Alright, I've dug up at least 20 1915 Coke bottle bases and every one of them is generic. Just Coca-Cola in script or just nothing on them at all. And then, of course, we got some from Wilmington. So, I'm wondering if there really is such thing as one that says Wallace on it. Well, I'm not done yet, so there's still hope. Well, I've just dug about 20 more broken Cokes and still no Wallace. Looks like they bottled Orange Crush at the Coke plant here, but these ones don't say Wallace on the bottom either. More blank bottoms and Coca-Cola scripts and Wilmingtons. And there's one from New Bern. There's a Wilmington straight-sided Coke product type bottle. Well, I found about a dozen more bottles. I found about a dozen more Coke bottle bottoms, and they didn't say Wallace either. But I just found a Rose Hill Pepsi bottle. That is easily $2,500, if it was intact, that is. It's the drum style. Maybe only one or two known to exist, and none of them are perfect. There is also supposed to be a straight-sided Coke from Wallace. This might be it. I can't see where it's from exactly, because so much is missing, but I have to assume if there is such a thing as a Wallace straight-side that this is one. There's another bottom of a straight-side. Here's another extremely rare 1915. The Mount Olive is probably a $300 to $600 bottle. This is the only piece I've ever found. There's a really neat looking 15 with a nice shade of blue to it. And that is a Mount Olive straight sided Coke. They're very rare too, but the 1915s are actually more rare. Finally, I found the first whole bottle. At least 200 broken sodas have come out of here. And that is the only whole one, a 1915 from Wilmington. It's probably got a crack or two in it, though. And the project continues. Well, I've got a few more interesting specimens. There's a Kelford Straight Sided Coke product bottle. I am really not happy about seeing that because I just dug the dump over there in Kelford and found about a quarter of a million broken Kelford soda bottles. That's about 175 miles away from here, so I don't know what it's doing here. We got an Emporia, Virginia 1915 base. And another Kelford soda water bottle from the Coca-Cola Company. And one of about 20 Wilmington 1915 bases. There's a new grape. It's broken pretty bad. Can't see the bottom, but I know for sure there's one of these from Warsaw, so that's probably what this is, because it's in the same county. There's a slug-plated piece of a Wilmington straight out of Coke. And then a Crown Bottling Works from Magnolia. That's an extremely small town, and the fact that this exists is surprising to me. Couldn't have had more than 450 people there in 1912 when this bottle was made. 
Then I dug up a pocket knife. It's missing its other side, but still worth bringing home. Well, I think I've had about enough of this. I have pretty much proven there is no such thing as a Wallace Mart Coke bottle. I have found approximately 95 bases, and not one of them says that on it. There's a base with the LBG. It's pretty rare to see a Coke bottle with that. So I'm going to patch this up and go try and find some privies. There's got to be at least 350 broken bottles in here and only one was intact. That's incredibly bad odds there. Alright, I got a privy going. It's only 1935 to 45, but I just pulled out two Christmas Cokes. They look to be in mint condition. They're just from Wilmington. But any Christmas Coke is worth at least $8, so I got a bucket of water to hopefully keep them from cracking. That 1915 I showed you earlier got a bunch of bruises on it because I didn't have this water. See, that stuff wasn't there before. Then it's got that big bruise there, so it's basically worthless now.